But this is a road boy, I'm just tell you straight up, you know, you don't want to take it as a threat or not, you know. You see that thing there where you post by your page? You know, I follow right like me. And about a feel like say, my career is if you go down. I meet a lot of someone, man, go suck them mad, and them still are spending the most money with more than every other artist. Right now. Someone, man, money are earning millions a week. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. Subscribe now. You hear that? Alright, so the first thing me I gotta talk about is an artist called For Kana. He just dropped this song on him Vivo page called God Life. And he have 900 and add subscribers. So hit 1000 subscribers on his Vivo page. So if this song bad, if it, if it artist bad, I want to know, go over there, go subscribe. Run it up to 1000. So here we go on for this new song right here. Yeah man, me die up on the block, loaded block Anybody try something smoking crack Like God, we have the whole Spain town padlock We no play a loose ball So the artist for Kana get dark You know that dark piece of tune yeah. You know you can hear it in him voice And in the music video Normally, when a man do a bad man tune like this You see, be a man in it, you know well, the artist for Kana do theme thing different, you see. Some dancers a bust a routine in a one part. Remember, dancing a one of the things we are run the place right now. So the artist just drop in little of that. I rate that. And you see some bad girl in the music video. Them look good. That help bring it off. And you know the way all the artists use up different voice in this one right here. Give me a piece more of that track here, the four Kana. <laughs> Red fan man, them a real killer. And he ends up pull up on a play with the chigger. Apple hand him on the killer. Pull up in a killer. So, people, the full music video on the artist Vivo page. Me, I go share the link in the comment section and pin it. So, after watching this vlog, y'all can go check out the artist for Kana. Yes, people, remember to subscribe to his Vivo page as well. Skadash! Simple thing for me, yum, them dinner. Darkness. All right, so moving along the next topic right here. A lot of people been bashing Futa Hype over social media since he speak about Shensia album. So I featured that video with Futa Hype speaking about it in the last vlog, you know, and Futa Hype was basically saying that Shensia, our album flop, it is an embarrassment to dance all a lot of stuff. If you don't check that out, check out the last video I put out after watching this one. Yeah, people, so as you can see, some of the comments over social media. Well, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people agree with Futa Hype, you know. But for what Futa Hype say, I see like some comments over social media, some people are rushing. So, right here, this person posts. Then you are tell me say Futa Hype no have nothing at all good for say him not even like the cover art of the album. Them man ya cool. A next comment right here this person posts these comments though it has nothing to do with liking or disliking an artist. He has a point. Yeah people moving along the next comment right here this person posts love Futa Hype him not tell lie. A next person right here well Shensia fan put this out saying. Footer hype. What's embarrassing is that everybody here they pan live, and the artist them is still richer than you. A next comment right here. This person post make Futa go s out him whatever. Lego the girl blows. You move out of the barber shop yet? Your papers straight, so them can not dip you. That's what you need to focus on. The girl album is phenomenal. People nowadays no buy album. Them pay for streaming service so them can listen music for free. You can't force to buy it, so it go. She is the only female in JA with the highest streams and sales. The girl still young, fresh and green with a bright future. Worry about you and your pitney them. Kiss my effing teeth. Yeah people, so that's what some people are saying over social media towards Futa Hype after he came out and speak about Shensia album sales. Yeah people, so you know, I'm go through the comments on various platforms over social media and most people agree with Futa Hype. Okay, so after Jack your sentence, a voice note been circulating across social media and it's alleged that 
the voice notes sent by Jack here before the whole incident with him and the promoter Papa. Brother, let me tell you a story. I'm in the middle of Amsterdam Square with some killers. I'm waiting on Papa to stop them. So another voice note me I go play Jack here speaking to someone else. It seems as if he might deal with a selector in this other voice note right here. Someone put it out with the caption saying after he stole 3,000 USD from the youth, Jack here is not nice. But it's in a road boy, I'm just tell you straight up in a way you don't want to take it as a threat or not, you know. You see that thing there where you post by your page, you know, follow right like me. And about a feel like say, my career is if you go down. I meet a lot of man go suck them mother and them still are spending most money with more than every other artist right now. So one man money are earning millions a week alone. I'm gonna tell you something. If you think you can ramp with me and post my name on your idiot page, road boy, I'm not gonna tell you where it's gonna cost you. Just, just do it. I see now the long run where it's gonna cost between me and you. And see if you're not gonna, all right, I'm not gonna say nothing. Come on, I'm tell you this, you know. Remember this, you know. Jano Star, well, as I said, I don't know if I saw Jack here deal with people on a regular in the industry before the whole of this went down you know jack your sentence to six years and after that first voice note came out last week a lot of people a lot of the fans were not pleased of jack your behavior in that voice note the way him did a carry on and thing it's like people are say I him sink himself, you know, and before over and over we see people are talk about how Jack here he have a anger problem and all of that. But Jano, well six years it very fear is like people are say yo that voice note him could get more ears for that, you know. But Jano, Jack here just go and wall it out as me say and this situation me just hope him learn from it same way. Okay, so Ritical recently put out a post and a lot of people are saying that Ritical a true word at Skilly Bang. Yeah, people, Ritical, you know, him put out a post on Instagram saying, Me are the baddest artist where next man want him say, him better than me, nobody can test. <laughs> yes, people, so it's like Ritical for a while now we see like some people are say some vibes between him and Skilly Bang. Them can expect a lyrical battle at any given time. Yeah, after various things we see pop up in the media, you know, recently we see Skilly Bang this up Teradan in our post and we see Teradan address it. And now shortly after we see Ritical say this because in a Skilly Bang post him did call a name saying Well him no call no name him say from you and such man start link when him a put it out towards Terradan And enough people are saying that when Skilly Bang refer to such man him a talk about Ritical So me I wonder after Ritical go put this out now you know say Ritical a bad artist, Skilly Bang a bad artist, but from what year, Skilly Bang a put out some type of song, not like when he was just coming out and we see some people a bash him. Ritical and Skilly Bang, me don't know if them actually a go, go back and forth with this whole lyrical battle thing because Ritical came out in an interview already and said, I'm run with this thing called pure Ritical, promise positive music only. And him say, not now, not never go on with him and Skilly Bang from the last time, you know, on, on stage. So, people, let me know what y'all think about this right here as Skilly Bang put out a post. Now we see Ritical go say this. Okay, so moving along, the next topic right here. Some people are saying that Shensia pay for feature on her album. She recently put out a tweet addressing that saying, I did not pay for any of my features on Alpha. Big up to the artists on my album. And you know, Shensia have a lot of major names on her album. You know, Offset, 21 Savage, Tiger, Megan The Stallion, Beanie Man, Sean Paul. But you know, if the artist don't the artist not have to pay for it, you know. The label can pay for the feature. Whichever one she signed to rich immigrant or interscope, they can pay for it and Shensia don't know. You know? It just that when the profit make now, them just take back their money. Just putting that out there, not saying the label did pay for it, you know, the feature. How it normally going at the industry, sometimes the label pay for some feature, sometimes no, because you know the labels, them have a lot of connection, especially big labels like Interscope Records, yeah people, so 
right here Shensia just putting this out in regards to what some people are saying about the features on her album.